Hi guys, I'm Sean and in front of me is the 14 inch and the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Both of these Pro models share almost the same key features such as display technology and chip configuration. But in today's video, we'll be focusing on the distinct features both models offer. So let's just get right into it. When it comes to the design, the 16-inch MacBook Pro has a larger footprint. The 16-inch model is physically larger than the 14-inch model. It's also worth noting that the 16-inch model is slightly thicker and about 1.2 pounds heavier than the 14-inch model. When compared next to each other, the 16-inch model does feel a lot heavier compared to the 14-inch model. I believe that the 14-inch MacBook Pro is more portable and comfortable than the 16-inch model when you're trying to travel with it or carry around or take it to class. If you are considering the 16 inch MacBook Pro, you should make sure that you're comfortable with the size and the great weight it brings along with it. When talking about the displays on these laptops, you can definitely notice how bright they are. I think that this screen is the best screen that you can get on a laptop. Although they're the same mini LED technology, the resolution on the 16 inch is a lot bigger. This usually comes in handy when you're trying to edit videos or code. In my opinion, the 16 inch display will be a better replacement as the screen resolution is better and you can see more content. I noticed this difference when I was trying to edit videos. The 16 inch MacBook Pro was easier to use, but on the contrary, it's really massive and heavy. So portability is kind of an issue with this big one. When talking about the displays, we have to also mention the notch. While the notch containing the webcam does eat into the display space very slightly, when comparing both models, the notch is more noticeable on the 14 inch as compared to the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Talking about performance, I got the base 16 inch and the base 14 inch MacBook Pro. In its base configuration, the 14 inch MacBook Pro features an M1 Pro with eight core CPU, 14 core GPU, while the base 16 model MacBook Pro contains a 10 core CPU, and a 16 core GPU. Both models offer the same 16 gigabytes of unified memory. On a day to day use, I don't notice that much of a difference when comparing the two models. When I'm coding or editing videos, I feel I'm getting about the same level of performance out of these laptops. One thing to note is that the base 14 inch MacBook Pro has more basic processor. When you upgrade the 14 inch model to the same level as the 16 inch MacBook Pro, which is 10 core CPU and 16 core GPU, then it increases the price to $2,300. Then the price gap between the 16 inch and the 14 inch is only $200. So when you're picking the 16 inch MacBook Pro, you're slightly getting more upgraded performance. Also, while talking about performance, I have to mention that this laptop does not get hot at all. The most it has gotten hot is lukewarm. It does get slightly warm, but then it's barely noticeable. For the majority of my workloads, I have not experienced any performance issues on either laptops. When coding or editing videos, I found that it's about the same level of performance. That made me wonder why pay the extra money for the upgraded processor when the 14 inch base model, which is only two grand, does the same level of work as the little upgraded 16 inch model. In my opinion, I think we'll start to see performance differences in the future as developers optimize the software accordingly. Although both laptops have the same sized keyboards, the key difference is the trackpad size. On the 14 inch MacBook Pro, the trackpad is the same size as my fist. If you think that's big, then the 16 inch trackpad is massive. It's the size of two of my fists. The 16 inch MacBook Pro contains a larger battery and has a long lasting battery life when compared to the 14 inch model. The 14 inch model contains a 70 watt an hour battery while the 16 inch model contains a 100 watt an hour battery. In terms of battery life, Apple says that 14 inch MacBook Pro can deliver up to 17 hours of battery while the 16 inch MacBook Pro adds additional four hours, which is about 21 to 22 hours. For maximum battery life, the 16 inch model is clearly better, but the 14 inch model's 17 hour battery is still pretty good. I would also like to note that the 14 inch base MacBook Pro comes with a 67 watt an hour charger. When you upgrade it to a M1 Max or any other variant, Apple bumps up the charge to 96 watt an hour charger. The 16 inch MacBook Pro comes with a standard 140 watt an hour charger. So it's going to charge your laptop a lot faster when you're using this 140 watt an hour charger versus the 67 watt an hour or the upgraded 96 watt an hour. 
So I have been using these laptops for about two weeks and those were the key differences that I noticed between the 16 inch, sorry, that's the 16 inch, between the 16 inch and the 14 inch MacBook Pro. The 16 inch MacBook Pro is $500 more than the base 14 inch model. While the 14 inch model is portable, if you're considering the 16 inch MacBook Pro, do keep in mind that it is heavier and, and portability is a challenge. But anyways, here's my final verdict. If you need a laptop for editing videos or creating content, I think you should consider getting the MacBook Pro in general. If you're gonna be traveling a lot with your laptop, then go with the 14 inch MacBook Pro. But if you're gonna stay put, you're not gonna move the laptop that much, then go with the 16 inch MacBook Pro and utilize that larger screen size. If you're gonna hook up your laptop to a bigger display, then just go with the 14 inch MacBook Pro as you're not gonna be utilizing that large screen size. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do remember to hit the like button for the algorithm and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. Until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next one.